Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the Lens Distortion Node. And this is a DaVinci Resolve effect available with Infusion, and it is studio version only. So we've got this footage and we're going to add some lens distortion. Now this lens distortion isn't too great for actual correction. We in the past went over the lens distort node available with Infusion. So let's go ahead and bring in a lens distort that we've already gone over in the past. And this node is primarily used for corrective measures. So even though we can use it for effects, its primary purpose is to correct lens distortion. So if you've got bad lens distortion and we need to undistort it to do any type of tracking or matte, we would undistort it and then re-add this to re-distort it to its original. And you can see there's tons of different like scientific settings to this to get our distortion and undistortion correct. And this is the one we already went over in Fusion. So let me go ahead and delete this one and we're going to add the resolve version of lens distortion. So if we go down here, we see this lens distortion. This is the one we're going over today. So I'm going to add it. And if we look at our lens distortion, you can see it's fairly simple and we have the ability to increase or decrease the level of our distortion. And in here, if I turn back on our uh, show controls, we get a little uh, control here so we can change the location of our distortion. Additionally, we can change our location here by uh, adjusting these. Now, if I select this fine adjustments, it's going to change how much distortion is being applied to my adjustments or my location of that adjuster. Now, mind you, it's either or, so I can't make it an adjustment, say over here, uncheck it, and then make a new adjustment with my unfined adjustment. So it's either or doing the uh, default adjustment or fine adjustment. And that's exactly what this position X and Y is, the location of the center of your distortion. And then down here for our edge behavior, we've got black, which is going to give us these uh, transparent or clear borders. We can have reflect, wrap around, or replicate. So let's change this back to black. Now on top of uh, being able to change just our regular distortion, we can change our RGB distortion independently. So if I uncheck this RGB have same distortions, we'll have independent for our red distortion, our green distortion, and our blue distortion. And this can be kind of cool for different effects that we're doing. So for example, for this footage, we've got this girl that's kind of uh, looking around like she's a little scared. So we can add a little oomph to this footage. So let's go ahead and uh, add a tracker. So I'm going to just pick a location on her face. So let's pick her nostril and uh, let's see if that tracks forward for us. And there we go. We got a decent track on her nose. So we can disconnect this tracker. Let's uh, reconnect our lens distortion and hit refresh. And on our lens distortion, I'm going to go here to our position, connect to the position of our tracker. So now we've got our uh, distortion being uh, centered on her face at all times. And uh, let's go ahead and shut off our uh, show overlays or show controls. So now we can come in here and we can fine tune or make any adjustments we want. So I'm going to uncheck this and uh, let's go ahead and keep pushing play. And all I want is just to add a little hecticness to this footage. But keep it off her face so we can change our colors here. 
So now we've got a weird effect using the lens distort on independent channels of the red, the green, and the blue. So that is the lens distortion node. I will see you in the next note breakdown.